Doug Ford's government has been running a very tight ship here at Queen's Park with MPPs standing firmly behind him even when some might appear uncomfortable with some of the decisions that are being made. So the first MPP to break ranks and defy the government is a rookie, Amanda Simard, who spoke publicly challenging the PC decision to cancel a promise to build a French university and eliminate the French language services commissioner. Well, today she was at Queen's Park for the first time since showing that defiance as questions swirled over whether she would defect to the Liberals. Stop the clock. As usual, PC MPPs gave themselves lots of standing ovations in the legislature today, but not Amanda Simard. She sat in her chair instead and didn't rise for any of them, a clear message to her party. Simard's Ottawa area riding is 70% francophone, putting her in a tough position. The question now is, is she in trouble with the party? Is she staying with the party? She didn't give a standing ovation. Is she being sanctioned in any way? I have not had the chance to discuss uh, discuss any of these matters with her. I'm glad that she's back. We have a lot of work to do. Why was she gone so long? You can ask her. Well, we did want to ask Amanda Simard, but it was not so easy. There was a bit of a cat and mouse game going on here at Queen's Park today. Media waited for Samard to come out of the legislature without getting any answers as to whether she would talk to us. And then she must have slipped out another door. So it was a mad dash down the stairs when we were told she was in the basement restaurant. Are you going to stay with the PCs? So right now, um, I am doing what I was elected to do, which is representing my constituents. You're the first one to break ranks. Are you worried about repercussions, Amanda? So right now, I do think uh, that I uh, pushed the limits because uh, I did... Uh, I did do uh, quite a few um, events and I, I was on uh, a Quebec TV show as well to, to speak out against the decisions and ask for the reversal. But um, right now, I don't think that I should worry about that when I'm just trying to do, do my job. Simar says that other than the francophone issues, she's on side with her government. However, she did not go to a caucus meeting this afternoon that the Premier attended. Now, the Liberals were asked if they had spoken to Samara about her possibly crossing the floor and joining their ranks, and the answer was no. They did, however, indicate she would be welcome.